anytime we have that during a high high tide period, uh, that's a concern for us. Hampton police are preparing for the impending storm, saying the barricades are out for areas that are prone to flooding and will watch those areas around the tide. We don't expect it to be what it was back on December 23rd when we had that really high flooding, uh, but it is something that we still prepare for. The police will be working with local power company Unitil at their emergency operations center, monitoring for power outages, but say their first priority is downed power lines. When we see a long duration event like this. Crews will be restoring power where there's an opportunity to do that, but we're expecting public safety to be a huge factor during this particular storm, especially during the day tomorrow. Unitil has called in additional crews to help over the duration of the storm. It asks that any customers who lose power report it to the utility company so they can monitor the areas in need of repair. Back at the beach, the police chief is asking for the community's patience during the storm, especially if they're headed to vote at town meeting. Chief Reno says there will be additional officers on staff throughout the storm to monitor the roads and possible flooding. He also asked people coming to the beach to see the waves during the storm to use caution. We just want people to, to be use some, some common sense and, and, and take the appropriate safety measures uh, to keep themselves safe. And they do suggest charging anything that can be charged, making sure you have additional food and water on hand, batteries and flashlights handy, just in case you do find yourself without power. We're live at Hampton Beach, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.